Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Thank you so much for coming out today to support the Busy Animal Shelter. So we're here today to send a message to the city manager, Teresa Coleman, the mayor, David Smith, and all our council members here in Bisbee about what we value. Save our shelter! SOS! Save our shelter! SOS! And we're here to send them a message that we want our tax dollars to continue to fund the Bisbee Animal Shelter. one Bisbee and you drive out the tunnel right on the other side of that tunnel it switches to KLPX 961 Tucson and if you're doing that between 6 to 10 a.m. on a weekday you will have the pleasure of hearing one of Bisbee's newest and funniest residents and the mother of rescue dog honey switchblade Bisbee I give you Christine Levine This is the most ridiculous, I cannot even believe I'm here. <laughs> Bisbee, I'm sorry, but you know what, Bisbee, you've got this beautiful reputation of being the sweetest, kindest. This is like Portland only like 20 years ago. You know, like Portland, Oregon, like a real hippie kind of town. Nobody has a real job. Everybody's, you've got these bunny suits, but none of you bought them today. You've just had them. This is just your closet, your just Saturday, Sunday stuff that you do. That, I understand. But this will not bode well when I talk about it on the radio. God damn it, it's 2020 and we're all getting kicked in the nards out here. What are you doing? shelters there for you man to help you so that you can keep your damn dog <laughs> but let's keep this place open and let's let's keep the show going you guys what do you say <laughs> your next speaker coming up to the stage tonight has been banned from clubs and colleges all over the United States ladies and gentlemen the very funny Doug Stanhope Christine Levine ladies and gentlemen Thank you for having me. Uh, bear with me. I'm a, I'm a little nervous. This is my first super spreader event. So. They asked me to come down and say a few words uh, to you before you go on your epic march around the block. But I thought they were going to write those words for me. I assumed there would be some teleprompter. Uh, and I don't really know why you're all here dressed up like goofballs uh, but evidently the animal shelter from what I understand uh, uh, which is very little I just found out that I voted for Ken Budge thinking he was Kenny Bang Bang and they're different people all together so any factual information you glean out of anything I say that's really a, a buyer beware uh, so the animal shelter we've had for years running swimmingly, no problems, animals getting taken care of. Then the Honorable Jason A. Lindstrom got on glue and started typing stuff on Facebook about animals that are living off the state, shouldn't have the right to vote. And I guess that's what started all this shit. I'm not aware of all the details. But this is where, and we're gonna have to go across party lines, this is where the animal shelter in place needs to be addressed. A lot of these animals do wanna work. A lot of these animals 
hey, knock it off with the motorcycles for Pete's sakes. I'm saying things that matter. <laughs> Stupid motorcycles. Don't get me started on that. I'll go all the way back to plastic bag bands if I have to. <laughs> go, rev it, rev it. People need to know you're in town. I so the animals, frontline essential worker animals, seeing eye dogs, Budweiser Clydesdale horses as we come into season. We're in a mining town, you know the importance of a working canary in a mine. These animals want to work. And if you just gave them the opportunity, you can train them to fetch a tennis ball you can train them to stay six feet away from each other's butts and wear a muzzle in public. That's as far as that line of jokes I was trying to write really high. And if you voted yes on Prop 207, I wrote all this stuff really high, so it's your fault. I looked at it when I wasn't high in the morning and I go, most of this isn't funny at all. So I got high again. <laughs> fixed it. <laughs> what we need to do is, first of all, get me off of this stage. Because I'm an animal lover, and today, the specific animals I like, dolphins at home, minus a point and a half, seahawks on the road against the rams. Yes, I'm an animal lover, and I'm going to get back to that before... They say violence is never the answer, but since... It seems that we're running unopposed on Save the Animal Shelter. Why not? Why not a little violence on that trip? How about tip some shit over? Set a cop car on fire? S.O.S. Save our shelter! S.O.S. No one's against us. Violence is never the answer if someone bigger than you is going to oppose you. But since we got, we got a balls to the wall, Let's tear some shit up. Let's go through Floyd. Floyd doesn't have security cameras on all those levels of miners and merchants. Let's go steal some shit. Let's, let's get on the news. Oh, Floyd, there he is. You're not even watching the shop, son. We gotta make it. I have no idea what we do to save the animal shelter other than give money, which I could have just bought my way out of showing up here. <laughs> But let's get those animals that are at the shelter their opportunity to be adopted by local tweakers who will chain them in a yard with no shade to protect the stash while they gnash their teeth through a chain link fence at your little sweatered poodle while you try to just walk around. Don't kill that dog. Give him a fighting chance. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Let's get weird and let's go up Subway Street and then we'll take a left and then everyone will watch. So do we take another left? Yes, we will. And then we'll take another left to get back here. And we're going to save all these animals. That's it. That's all I got. Down with Teresa Coleman. My name is Karen and I want to talk to the city manager. Good night.